Hey team, a few days ago I promised you I'd explain this video here. So it's time to buckle up and let's explain this. Psst, psst, the throttles are on the left. Top tip for you guys, if you ever get on a boat with a skipper who looks as perplexed as this fella does at the controls, probably best to get off. There's a few variables that led to this incident trim and seating to name but two. The one we're going to focus on is the vessel stability. Most power boats have got streaks in the bottom of the hull called strakes and their job is stability. And as captain I'm about to do an impromptu plank here discovered if you don't know what you're doing with the throttles um, you're going to pay the price. As he hit a wake and bikini boat he went on and off on the power a couple of times and the end result was he destabilized the back of the boat and stepped the stern out and bikini boat began an aerial ascent sideways at 50 knots. And and when Bikini Boat reconnected with the water, those strikes did their job and Bikini Boat went from 50 knots to 0 knots in a nanosecond. And the end result were some lovely passengers ending up on laps. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all for a lovely passenger ending up on a lap at the end of a good day's boating, but I envisage a slightly different climactic outcome. And rather instead, a YouTube sensation was born. So now this is what I was talking about. We've just gone past the boat over here that sent us to wash our way. And Captain Donut here, as soon as we hit that wash, should really ease up on the throttles. But that's not what he chooses to do. He decides to go on, off, on, off, on, off on the power, and therefore destabilizing the back of the boat and sending the back outwards, and the boat becomes airborne, traveling sideways, and we await our fate. I think I'll just pop this on and leave you guys to it. Oh. Oh. In fairness, Tom. The one thing Captain Fantastic here did right was he wore the kill cord. Because if he didn't, this boat would still be zipping around doing donuts and we'd all be in an even worse place. Ooh. I guess if you don't want to end up with a face looking like Quasimodo here, probably time to slow down or stick to paddleboarding.